Hello everyone, I'm Ruchi Arya. As I begin with the Intellectual Property Law Series, and so far I have conducted two lectures relating to the introduction to the intellectual property and about copyrights. And if I recap my previous lectures, I think I made my, I appropriately made my viewers understand about the intellectual property, the various types of intellectual properties and about the copyright. So in today's discourse, I will be covering the law relating to patents. So let's start with the introduction of Indian Patent Act 1970. This patent law in itself is a different branch of law. What actually patent is, it is covered under the act called the Patents Act 1970, which was amended by the Patents Act 2005. What is patent? The inventor of any invention always seeks for a patent protection for his invention. A patent protection protects his or her invention from unauthorized use and also gives a monopoly to the creator to exploit his invention and derive maximum benefit from it. This patent right are essentially a territorial in nature. If you talk about the history or evolution of patents law, in India, this act first relates to the, like it was enacted in 1856. This act granted certain exclusive privileges to inventors for a period of 14 years. Earlier, it was for 14 years. Now, this term is extended to 20 years. This act was, however, found defective and was modified in 1859. Then, in 1872, the Patents and Designs Protection Act was passed. Then, in 1883, the Protection of Invention Act was passed. Then, again, in 1888, Consolidation as the Invention and Design Act. Subsequently, the Indian Patents and Design Act 1911 was passed, replacing all the previous acts. Then, after India attained freedom, the basic purpose for the patent framework was looked into. There were two inquiry committees set up to look at the patent law. The Indian Patent Act 1970 was deliberated by two committees, Justice Bakshi, Tekchan and Justice N. Rajgopal, a younger committee. So post-independence, there were two committees led by experts which were established to study whether the existing patent regime, that is 1911, suited national interest and it was found that existed patent act does not favor local and national development. So the committees revised the patent act. And so the 1970s act for the first time, it removed product production from medicine. Earlier in 1911 act offered product patents for pharmaceuticals and drugs. Now this was removed by 1970 act. The Patent Act in India came as a British import. They have brought in the Patents Act of 1911, but soon after independence, it was felt that the Indian Patents and Design Act 1911 was not fulfilling its objectives. So, in 1970, for the first time, it removed product protection for medicine, which was given in earlier, earlier in 1911 Act and uh, which uh, offered that product patent for pharmaceutical and drugs now this was removed by 1970 act and it was felt that by the Iyengar and by the uh, Taichan committee that this act was not properly working uh, in the interest of local or national development so it was found that the existed patent act does not favor so the accordingly changes of the law relating to patents were prescribed to make the patent framework a viable impetus of industrial and economic development. Then in 1970 and 1972, bill was sent in parliament for India Patent Act and enacted on 24, 1972. It is to be noted that only process patent introduced in 1970 act. In 1975, India joins WIPO. In 1970 Act, there were some changes made on the term of patent. If you talk about in terms of duration, uh, earlier it was for 14 years and this was changed in 1970s Act. Now, uh, in relation to compulsory licensing, licensing is also introduced by 1970 Act. This Act, it was amended three times. In 1992, 2002 and 2005. All these amendments that probe 
the act is compliant in compliance with the trips agreement of the wto and this trip agreement brought a common standard that the term of a patent shall be for 20 years india earlier had 14 years period for invention in general and now this agreement brought a common standard for all and that the term of a patent shall be for 20 years the important features of the patents act 1970 before amendments relating to assist to pharmaceuticals were as follows in the field of pharmaceuticals food insecticides chemicals etc the act provide only for process patent and not for product patent the term of the process patent was only seven years from the date of application or five years from the date of existing of the patent whichever was shorter the process patent regime wherever applicable was covered by license of right which provided a legal right to any enterprise to explain the patent only the terms of these license were required to be mutually agreed upon between the patent holder and the licensee now if we talk about patent what is patent patent is actually a latin word petere which means to lay open it means to make it available for public inspection patent is a set of exclusive right granted by a state to an inventor of any invention always seeks for a patent protection for his invention a patent protection protects his or her invention from unauthorized use and also gives a monopoly to the creator to exploit his invention and derive maximum benefit from it the fundamental principle in awarding a patent is that the right must be granted for an invention which has novelty and utility however not all creations or inventions would warrant a patent protection the Indian patent law lays down certain requisites for the filing of an Indian patent why this patent is required the purpose of getting a patent this is to enjoy the exclusive rights over the inventions it is granted to ensure that these inventions are work on commercial scale without undue delay the patent is to ensure commercial returns to the inventor for the time and money spent in generating a new product what does patent system do this patent is granted to encourage inventions this avoid duplication of your research this induces an inventor to disclose his inventions instead of keeping them as secret this encourage establishment of new industries this encourage scientific research new technologies and industrial progress the fundamental principle of patent law is that it should have inventive novelty and utility both the product and the process patents are provided by the indian patent act and both pre-grant and post-grant oppositions are also provided publication of application after 18 months with facility for early publication what are the terms and conditions of patent invention under the indian patent law now section 2 clause j of the indian patent act 1970 defines an invention as it means a new product or process involving an inventive step and capable of industrial application simply i mean put any product or process will be deemed to be an invention if it is novel a novel invention is one which has not been disclosed in global state the invention can be told if disclosed in public before filing patent application if it is non-obvious i mean a patent application involves an inventive step if the proposed invention is not obvious to a person in the art that is skilled in the subject matter of patent application and that must be useful next the invention should be non-obvious which implies that any person skilled in that field should not have anticipated the invention the invention of a like for example the invention of the chair with wheels any person skilled in the art of carpentry could have anticipated this 
therefore such an invention therefore such an invention would not be considered fit for protection under the patent law in india particularly there should exist an inventive step this means that the invention should add to the existing body of technology and science and lastly it should have industrial application that is it should have some commercial value therefore invention which do not have any industrial application are termed as utility models however utility models are not protected in india there is a list about the patentable and non patentable product and process in india patent law in india list out certain inventions which not qualify to be termed as invention termed as an invention under the patents act that is they will not qualify for an indian patent protection and not patentable invention under the patent law in india which is frivolous or which uh, or any invention which claims something contrary to the well established natural laws for example if someone claims that he has invented a device that can completely nullify the gravitational force of the earth or it will be deemed a frivolous invention and hence not patentable and uh, if invention uh, um, whose use will prove contrary to public order or morality or cause serious detriment to human animal or plant life and mere discovery of a scientific principle or the formulation of an abstract theory would not amount to an invention or mere discovery of a new form of substance which does not result in the enhancement of the known efficacy of the substance would not be termed as an invention and substance obtained by a mere mixture is also not patentable and the mere arrangements or rearrangement of devices each functioning independently of one another is all is in a known way will not be an invention no invention with respect to atomic energy is patentable now types of patent patent are of two types process patent and product patent process patent the process patent is that the product can be manufactured by the totally new and different method the exclusive rights are only for methods of manufacturing product and product patent the person utilizes the process that he has developed for product development after granting a patent he can sell and distribute the product in country now the compulsory licensing one of the most important aspect of indian patents act 1970 is compulsory licensing of the patent subject to the ful fulfillment of certain uh, conditions at any time after the expiration of 3 years from the date of sealing of a patent any person interested may make an application to the controller of patents for grant of compulsory license of the patent on the fulfillment of the few conditions first the reasonable requirement of the public with respect to the patented invention have not been satisfied means when these three years are over then any person may apply to the controller of the patent for a compulsory license and it can be applied for and granted where the reasonable requirement of the public have not been satisfied and the invention is not available at reasonable price and that the patented invention is not worked in the territory of india it is further noted that an application for compulsory licensing may be made by any person notwithstanding that he is already the holder of a license under the patent for the compulsory licensing no person can be stopped from alleging that the reasonable requirements of the public with respect to the patented invention are not satisfied or the patented invention is not available to the public at a reasonable price by reason of any admission made by him now the term of patent the term of every patent in india is 20 years from the date of filing the patent application irrespective of whether it is filed with provisional or complete specification however in case of applications filed under the patent cooperative treaty the term of 20 year begin with the begin from the priority date
in case of an infringement of patent the patent infringement proceedings can only be initiated after grant of patent in india but may include a claim retrospectively from the date of publication of the application for grant of the patent infringement of a patent consists of the unauthorized making importing using offering for sale or selling any patented invention within the india under the indian patents act 1970 only a civil action can be initiated in a court of law a suit for infringement can be defended on various grounds including the ground including the grounds on which a patent cannot be granted in india and based on such defense revocation of patent can also be claimed for patent protection there is a procedure for a grant of a patent in india after filing the application for the grant of patent a request for examination is required to be made for examination of the application by the indian patent office and after the first examination report is issued the applicant is given an opportunity to meet the objections raised in the report the applicant has to comply with the requirements within 12 months from the issuance of the first examination report if the requirements of the first examination report are not complied with within the prescribed period of 12 months then the application is treated to have been abandoned by the applicant and after the removal of objection and compliance of requirements the patent is granted and notified in the patent office journal there is a pre-grant opposition and post-grant opposition as i have um, told in this lecture before uh, what is pre-grant opposition a representation for pre-grant opposition can be filed by any person under section 11a of the patents act 1970 within six months from the date of publication of the application or before the grant of patent the grounds on which the representation can be filed and provided under section 25 clause 1 of the patents act however the, re however, the representation will be conceded only when a request for examination is received within the prescribed period and post grant opposition any interested person can file post grant opposition within 12 months from the date of publication of the grant of patent in the official journal of the patent office and there is a ground for opposition if patent wrongfully obtained if there is a prior publication of the patented subject matter if the invention was publicly known or publicly used in india before the priority date of that claim if the invention is obvious and does not involve any inventive step that the subject of any claim is not an invention within the meaning of this act or is not patentable under this act if it is insufficient disclosure of the invention or the method by which it is performed in case of a patent granted on convention application the application for patent was not made within 12 months from the date of the first application for protection for the invention made in a convention country or in India that the complete specification does not disclose or wrongly mention the invention was anticipated having regard to the knowledge oral or otherwise available within any local or indigenous community in India or elsewhere with this I hope you guys understand about the basics of patent uh, what is the use of patent why one should uh, go for patent protection what are the terms of patent what inventions are patentable or what is not patentable products or process and so more so thanks for watching this video